the channel. Today we are going to take a look on how to create disk images for the C64, the C16, VIC-20 and stuff like that. So all the classic 8-bit Commodore machines. And um, if you're on a PC and let's say you have a PRG file which you want to transfer to the C64, you're pretty much out of luck. Um, if you have a Easy Flash 3 you can just uh, start it on the C64 but there's no disk image or stuff like that so if you wanted to really uh, create an original c64 disk out of that you would have to put it inside a d64 or d81 or d70 file so how do you create one of these and that is the topic of this video so let's get into it first thing you need is a PC and um, we are going to visit a website that is called style64.org and style64.org is uh, quite a versatile site, has quite some tools here. Um, for example the classic Turbo Macro Pro um, assembler and we are not going into the Turbo Macro Pro this time, but I'm planning a series on how to program the C64 and assembler and how all these um, various things like data statements in basic and machine language and assembler relate. So if you're interested in that, just subscribe. Today we're going to take a look at directory master or dir master. And this program um, was originally made in 2006, but is still maintained. And it allows us to create D files in all various um, tastes and sizes and you just download the um, the latest release which is right here you click on download up here and this gives you a zip file you unzip this and then you get the directory master icon and a double click opens this in a quite empty window and what you can do then is you can go and, for example, create a new D64 file. And this, this gives you the classic Commodore style directory if you load uh, $,8 on your C64. And to add files to that, just go, and I have some files prepared here, and I have uh, D files, D64 files, as well as PRG files. So if you want to add a PRG file, you just take it and drag it onto this and you can see uh, this looks a little bit uh, crazy because these are characters that the um, C64 can't interpret so we are going to um, change this to let's say let's ace2 and let's try this again and now it works and we can delete this one here right click and remove and we got our first PRG program on here. And let's take a second one, which is Master of Magic. We just call this MOM. By the way, if you haven't played Master of Magic, it has one of the best C64 soundtracks of all times by um, Rob Hubbard. So, and just like that, we have a D64 file and we can save that. And let's put this on the desktop and call this mydisk.d64. There you go. You can also go and create uh, d81 files and all the various uh, things in between. d81 files are the much bigger three and a half uh, inch disks. The 1581 is the three and a half inch disk drive for the c64, which is quite expensive, but you can still create the disk files here. And you can also drag and drop from one disk to another, or you could just open another D64 file here. Let's open Bomberman, and you could just go and copy that over here. So just like that, you are good to go. And if you uh, plan on reducing your um, disk selection, you can just go and copy all your D64s, or at least some of them. Uh, no, that was wrong. 
onto the D81 and just have one disk with all the files on it, which is quite nice. You can, I guess, store up to 10 um, D64 images on a D81. So that's quite nice. So we call this my D81. And just like that, we have our disks, which are here and here. We have different icons, which come with the uh, directory master. And you can now use these and copy these via um, Easy Flash to real disks. Uh, make sure that you have a three and a half inch disk drive attached if you want to uh, really save the D81 files. But the D64 files you can just transfer via Easy Flash. And I will insert the segment here and um, from an older video. And then you have a real disk of what you actually created on here. I have um, an Easy Flash 3, which sits right inside this white casing, which I 3D printed. And from there goes a cable to my Windows PC, which is actually sitting under my desk and behind the door, so I can close it down if I don't want to hear it. And on my Mac, I have remote desktop right inside that very Windows PC. And what you can do with an Easy Flash is you take a disk, put it inside the 5041, which is connected to the C64. Then on the C64, which image can you see? You can see here, you go to the menu, then you turn to the Windows PC again. You download Easy Transfer from the website of uh, the Easy Flash 3. You go to Write Disk, select a D64 disk image. I will use the Head Tester image. You select the drive number, which is usually 8, and you click Go. And then on the C64 side, this whole thing will start formatting and copying a disk from your PC out of a D64 archive onto your C64. And this takes about 50 seconds. And then you're good to go and you have a perfectly written disk. Doesn't matter how much uh, stuff is on the disk, it always takes about 50 seconds. You see, it's verifying. This is done. It says waiting for command from USB. You can copy another disk or do whatever you like. And as you can see, we have a disk, which is still in here. And let's try to access this from the C64. So I will reset the machine. And there it is, head tester. So if you don't have any con other construction which allows you to connect a 5041 to your PC or something like this, Easy Flash is a pretty reliable and easy way to do this. It's about, I guess, 40 euros or $40, depending on where you are. Uh, as I said, I 3D printed my own case, so it's just a naked module. And it seems to work great. So let's load this up. and see. There we are. Yeah, this program can do much, much more. But in this video, I'm only going to go into the aspect of creating D64 or D81 files. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always and until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Retro is the New Black. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you like the video, please share. Every like, share, and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye bye.